Other interesting culture news, you have Disney pulling execs back to the company as they continue to crater and struggle, losing about $910 million on movies. Yeah, Bob Iger needs a little bit of help. So Bob Iger built the company in terms of he was the CEO from 2005 to 2020, made some good acquisitions from a business perspective, buying out both Marvel as well as Lucasfilms, Lucasfilms being you know the parent of Star Wars and that cult cultural phenomenon. And it looks like now that he's back, take over from the inept Bob Chapek, who used to be his protege, Bob Chapek took over in 2020 and made a mere out of business blunders, including rising, increasing the price of the tickets, decreasing the amount of benefits for the annual share pass holders, making more politically charged movies. Um, the whole docuseries could be based on the business blunders of Bob Chapek. However, they brought back Bob Iger, claiming he would get out of politics. He didn't. And tried to turn the company around. Now, it looks like he's tapped two gentlemen on the shoulders to bring back into his fold, bringing back both Tom Staggs and Kevin Mayer, who looks like Tom Staggs is the current CEO of Candle Media, and they'll be brought back, quote, they will assist ESPN chairman Jimmy Patrio on developing and analyzing partners for the business. Now, it looks like Stagg was Disney's chief financial officer and chief operating officer under Iger, and Mayer was chief strategy officer before leading Disney's direct-to-consumer segment, including streaming. And they're both actually in the, lined up as possible replacements, replacements for Bob Iger to become the CEO, but they actually went over to Bob Chapek. So it's interesting enough, they got passed over for a once-in-a-lifetime position, and they got passed over for someone who is business-wise a moron, or a nicer way of saying that would just be completely oblivious to what the consumer wants. And it's interesting that they're actually coming back. So they definitely need to right the ship, so to say. And in terms of helping ESPN, they're in trouble too, because again, they got involved in politics and people want to turn to ESPN to watch sports balls being thrown, not being patronized and you know just talked down to. So ESPN is actually begging, I mean, courting you know Major League Baseball. They're also courting believe, the NFL, the NBA, and other sporting leagues to see if they might want to invest or some kind of come together to have a mutual beneficial agreement. When those sports franchises already have successful track records of selling the broadcasting rights to more successful outlets. Broadcasting rights being one of the most premium, expensive, important things about a sporting team. Because, of course, when you have the broadcasting rights, that's where you get money off the advertisers and all that kind of good stuff. So there's a lot of benefits to it, obviously, of course. But I don't know if they'll be able to bring back ESPN into the folds. It'll be interesting to see. Bob Bob needs a lot of help, and we'll see what the if he can maybe build a dream team to do the impossible, which is right the ship and pull them back up for the brink of perhaps the, perhaps becoming culturally irrevel, irrelevant as more and more of their movies alienate the people who used to love the franchises and used to love the intellectual property, and a lot of people are just going elsewhere. We shall see. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in today. I really appreciate you taking the time to click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of August, and we really appreciate it because, obviously, the more we grow and develop, the better the content will become and the production will become. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.